Alright, this one just popped up. Um, oh man. What do I use for tape? Okay. So, for masking purposes. Alright. Now, you want to paint parts. Lay out a strip of this, put the parts on it, shoot them. Let them flash, flip them over. That way, all the parts are painted. Um, this goes back to kit preparation. Okay? A lot of guys will paint the parts on the trees. Big no-no. Why? It's very simple. You paint the parts on the trees. You cut them off. You've got a spot on it. And it's not always something that's not going to be seen. So when you cut that part off and you take a blob of paint, it sticks out like the proverbial sore thumb. So I also use this on my pipe nipples, back put, wrap it, stick the body on, can turn it. If you have my airbrush DVD, which you should have, along with the tips and tricks and the ultimate finish, you would know this. Yes, I was being mercenary, but they're great tools to have. And they are tools. They are tools. Um, that's 58 years worth of experience gone on to disc, and they help tremendously. Now, let's go back to... Now, there are guys that will use frog tape. There are guys that will use this tape to mask off, to do stripes, to do two-tones and everything else like that. Problem being, it's too sticky. A lot of times what will happen, guys will go to peel it off, they'll pull the paint right off of it. So, these are made by Tamaya, Tamiya, however you want to pronounce it. A little bit more expensive, but once again, this stuff does the job. When it comes to masking, it has no peers. It doesn't leave any residue. As long as you take this, uh, let me see here. Yep, there it is. Sorry, should have been better prepared. Now, you want to take that, and this should also be in your arsenal. Tamaya makes four different sizes of this, okay? These are cotton applicators, basically along the lines of Q-tips, except there are a more pressed nature. They don't leave fuzzies. You can use these for a variety of things. Um, you go a little bit, you're using, say you're touching in a, uh, a marker, a running light with a little bit of uh, clear color, red or orange, okay? Go a little bit. Take this, dab it a little bit, takes it right off. Also, great for burnishing down, okay? Because they're soft enough that they're not going to mar the surface, but they're also strong enough that when you take it and you've got your stripe laid down and you take this down either side, it seals it, okay? That way, you light mist coat on whatever color you're painting, okay? Once it starts to flash, you peel it and you peel towards the area that you painted, towards the color that you painted, and you get a nice crisp line. More too often, guys will use cheap tape and they'll get color bleed and you see a stripe that goes like this and it's got intermingled color going both ways. Not very attractive. Now, another thing that you can use the mask with is bare metal foil. Now, Jake, do me a favor. Hand me that uh, the fenders for that 44. The orange one. Okay, so case in point. It's very difficult to get into areas like this with tape. Okay, and make sure that it's copacetic. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll lay the bare metal foil in there, burnish it down, trim it off, okay, and when I do peel this off, I've got nice crisp lines. That's very, very, very important. There's nothing worse than having a pristine paint job and you want to paint it the running boards semi-gloss black and then, you know, 
you got a chunk of it here or maybe a chunk of it in there. Is it more expensive to do this? Yes, it is. But once again, let's go back to what we talk about all the time. $32 for a new kit. Okay, well, put your best foot forward. So you spend a little bit. You're not going to use the whole thing. You're only going to use small bits of it. Hell, just work these areas in and these major areas. Just use the tape over top of it. You've got it going. Now, if some of the adhesive stays on, just take a piece of cloth, 100% cotton flannel, put a little bit of Novice 2 on it, rub it back and forth, it takes it right off. But this way you can get into your intricate, you know, cracks and crannies, and when it's all said and done, and you shoot this, and then you peel it all off, you got a nice crisp line. Can't be beaten. Can't be beaten. Especially when you're doing, say, a two, maybe a three-tone paint job. Alright, everything has to be exact, especially if you're doing one of the old super stock drag cars or something else like that. Spend the money. Spend the extra couple bucks. Okay? It all works out in the end. You're not going to use all of this on one car. Alright, now, another thing that this can be used for, you can make seat belts out of it. Okay? Cut it to whatever width, use a straight edge, put it on a mirror, or a piece of glass, a little piece of glass, airbrush it, paint it, bottle paint it, brush paint it, whatever, let it dry, peel it, put your hardware on, got the world by the ass by doing it. Like I said, this is all just basic fundamental stuff. It's the little things, and as I always say, the devil is in the details. If you go about using these types of materials and product, it makes your life a lot easier in the long run. It might put a little dent in your wallet here or there, but okay, that extra kit that you were going to buy or those extra three kits you were going to buy, those kits are going to be around for a while. But you want to concentrate and focus on the kit that you're building now. So you want to do it once, do it right, do it right, do it once. And it behooves you to have the product, the, the proper products and tools on hand to make your life a lot easier, to make it a lot less frustrating. See, this is where a lot of guys run into problems because when they use the cheaper materials, you get you don't get a very satisfactory result, let's put it that way. Plainly speaking, it's it's non-satisfactory. And I can't you can't justify it. So if you're going to take your step and you want it to be the best one and it's got to go forward, this is the kind of stuff you want. And this is readily available in just about any hobby shop around town. It's also available online too. So, we went over that and I just flipped this open. Oh, and by the way, I think this, this particular roll of tape is 229 Okay, It'll last you a long time. Initial expenses with the holders. You can buy a replacement. It comes in a little bag. Cut it open. You install it. My suggestion too. Sticky side down. Oh, and that's another thing too. This is all. This all sticks. Okay. I don't use this for anything, but wrapping my pipe nipples in so it doesn't make a difference. My suggestion when you store this, store these. Notice these all sit up just like they are. I don't sit them down. You That way you don't get any debris because once again you're laying a stripe down, you get a hair caught underneath of this, it's going to be in your paint. You're going to have a little thin line. Don't want that. So store your tapes like this. Actually those one gallon freezer bags, put it in there. You don't want any dirt or debris on any surface like this because like I said Sure as hell, Murphy's going to be sitting there going, ha, ha, ha. You don't need that. All right. This is the old man from Lone Wolf Custom Painting. Like I said, this is Fundamental Friday. Hope you all enjoyed it. God bless. We'll see you next week.